Happy Monday, everyone. This is a pick a card for October 19th, Monday. If you're new to this, you pick a card, your main energy, and then I do always pull it together because it is a collective reading. And for October 19th birthdays, we will do you next. Okay, if you pick card number one for October 19th, Monday, you have the moon. All right, moon, major arcana. What do we see with the moon today? The moon, you may be feeling a sense of restraint. Um, you've been wanting something or you're trying to um, clarify a situation and you're really not sure about it. You're hearing it. You, um, people are telling you, even maybe experts and people that are experts in their fields or um, whatever it is, but you're not exactly sure about it is one thing I'm feeling here. Um, this energy also is telling me that you need to reach out to foreign type of energies, meaning things um, or people or different kinds of cultures or something. Um, there's more messages out there. I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's how I'm picking it up. You need to draw from that in an intellectual manner. Um, pick up some information. I feel you could, um, you'll be successful that way. It's like um, different people, different cultures, different traditions, different something is going to teach you something and help you succeed. Um, don't try going it alo uh, alone at this time is what I'm feeling here because there's a lot of help out there, um, clarification that way. And, you know, there is something you're not seeing here. So it is not going to be the way you thought it'll be. Um, also, this can indicate some kind of a delay, and it may take up to two weeks, so patience is a virtue as well, okay? It's like you're wanting the truth and seeking the truth as well. That's how I'm picking this up. If you pick card number two for October 19th, Monday, you have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, what I'm feeling here is it's a good card, right? It's a Ten of Pentacles. This is to deal... So to me, is dealing with a large sum of money. This can be property matters, trying to get a promotion or a loan. Um, you've been waiting for it, waiting for information. Maybe someone has been kind of looking um, things up, being a little bit, I don't know, critical, or you just feel that you've been like, I don't know. It's like you've been waiting, um, worried. There's that um, energy here. It's like you're expecting some kind of, disappointments or, you know, it's just, it, it's cost you your time, money or energy. And you're just kind of waiting, waiting or anticipating something. I do feel that there can be some kind of movement here. And I do feel this is, um, going out invitations. Maybe that's going to, um, help you connect somehow, network financially, um, network for business. I don't know. There's that energy I'm picking up too. You're up towards a 10. So there is this energy of some changes are coming in. It's going to be a major change and shift here. Okay. So I do see that. Don't be so disappointed is what I'm feeling. Um, I feel there's a sense of unity here. You may need to, um, there's a partnership that I'm picking up here and you have to be on the same page with a partner, um, or an agreement is what I'm feeling here because together that uh, you have power in, um, some kind of partnership and you can accomplish much okay so don't try doing things alone or you know what I mean there's a sense of partnerships and balance here but you know that already it's like something I shouldn't even be telling you is what I'm picking up here so union is very important too but it looks good there is going to be a major breakthrough or change coming through if you picked card number three for October 19th Monday you have the page of wands news is coming in OK, and I feel this is a shift in fortune. It's like um, expected, unexpected. Suddenly things turn around for you. Um, what you've been worried about. It looks like there's a connection between these two cards. Um, it's, you know, the fears or disappointments. It's it's going to be leaving you. It's like bye. it's like you get kind of that cl um, news is what I'm feeling here. OK, it's like, you know, what you've been waiting for, um, things like that. What I'm feeling here, again, is for others, um, I picked this card, I do feel that there is a new idea, um, maybe it's a change of idea, can be dealing with a person who, um, maybe it's a child, there's a sense you've been separated from this person, or the person, um, or this child, or someone younger than you may have a mission, or um, they're just been busy is what I'm picking up. 
Another thing is just be a little warned, a little bit careful of your who's surrounding you. Not everybody's bringing you their best energy is what I'm feeling as well. So there's a sense of being cautious or approaching things in another way. Um, again, I feel here is like if you need some kind of support, you're going to have to lead things. It has to be your idea, okay? Um, I want to say make sure that you know your motives and anybody else's agendas and motives around you too. So that's another thing I'm seeing here too. All right, so when we pulled this all together, we have the moon, ten of pentacles, and the page of wands. So what is what are we seeing here? There's a sense of an underlining energy of initial difficulty, okay? It's like wanting to plan ahead, thinking to plan ahead. If you embark without seeing the difficulties, you could fail. So you have to kind of analyze things, see the clarity, um, look ahead, and progress can be made. Okay, so looking ahead, looking at the big picture. It's like the birthing of um, bright ideas. Um, things have just been, they're starting to flourish, okay? But, you know, the birth process is always painful, but it's essential. So kind of enjoy the experience of delays or... Um, getting through things or the red tape is so to speak because we're still feeling a little constraint here you have to know limitations is another thing i'm seeing here limitations in all area and stick to them or you will only get frustrated okay so stop aiming too high maybe and settle for what is within grasp and then enjoy it too okay that is one way i'm looking at that i do see a sense of um new beginnings, love, good news coming in. And I think this can do uh, with a contract. Um, um, for some, this is buying property. Um, this is making an agreement. Um, and then you'd finally get news that you will be moving soon um, or thoughts of travel, s uh, dealing with legalities. I do see before, you know, it's like don't assume anything today. Because maybe you don't have all the facts yet, okay? Um, with matters of the heart, too, this is like um, wanting to make some kind of um, confirmation or needing a confirmation. Um, these are legal commitments, agreements. Um, I feel a Sagittarius may be present today, too. Um, there's an energy where maybe even with the moon feeling a little bit kind of a void inside. It's like there is this energy of fear of nothing is long term here. Is it going to be? If is it not? You know, there's that kind of energy I'm picking up. But I do feel that the outcome is going to be great. There is going to be some kind of um celebration, um, enjoyment, um, happiness. But I do feel too that this is um you're waiting. You're waiting for some news. You're waiting for this final outcome, okay? That's something I'm picking up here strongly, too. Um, a little bit complex, I have to say. I mean, they seem like simple cards, but it's the energies I'm picking up today. So it's very complex, all right? So that was the reading for today, October 19th. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. And for October 19th, babies, or if you know someone born today, happy birthday. If you want a birthday reading, I have many um, types of birthday readings on my website. Uh, make your wish. We'll pull that at the end. Let's see what your soul or your card says. It's, it's, it's the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a year of closures. Um, you know, it's finally closing up the past. Things that no longer serve us. Goodbye and shut. And we're moving into um, newer pastors. So it's kind of um, maybe a year where you're kind of reviewing the year past and things that have occurred. Um, sometimes we're dwelling on the losses or we're dwelling on how things were. But it's time to move forward, okay? So there will be people, situations, maybe they're leaving. Maybe some people will be leaving and, you know, everybody's going their own direction or you are as well. This is a year you could be a little bit overwhelmed. You're coming to some kind of endings, and it's a little bit um, scary, I feel. Um, you have to be more persevering and build that self-confidence because you can do it is what I'm picking up here. When it comes to work and career, I do see um, for some of you is you may have two options. Some of you may be going back to school, mastering um, a skill, a course, and, and working at the same time. 
Um, I do see for some of you, you may be finding work out of your local area and uh, making a choice moving forward. So I do see that. There's going to be some kind of recognition, okay? So I do see that. Or there could be two job offers, too, for some that I'm seeing. When it comes to finances, um, I do see there's going to be a lot of choices this year to be made where to invest your um, time and money. You may be... Um, Wanting to take care of the people that you love is what I'm feeling here, too. Um, make sure that any investments that you make or any uh, get-rich schemes are just, as they say, too good to be true, okay? So make sure it's grounded. There is a lot of future planning, okay? Planning for the future and um, saving. So I do see that, and it's going to bring some of your money wishes to fruition. Maybe you, you'll you realize at the end of the solar year, wow, I saved up enough. I have enough for that. So I'm seeing that energy. When it comes to love, if you are single, I do see that this is a year where you're, you have to, you may be letting your guard down a little bit too much, but at the same, but for others, you could be um, on the guard too much. Okay. There's a sense of there's a not a win situation. If something doesn't work out for you, just let it go move forward um, because there's a sense of uh, conflict. They will not, you will not win, meaning, how do I want to explain it? It's like there's no win situation. It's a, it's a non-win situation. Um, it's like better to let go. Okay, so I'm seeing that then, um, oh, I'm going to go hurt this person back. So I'm seeing that energy for others. Your defense is down and you're more open to different perspectives here. So I do see that change of perspective is here as well. Be careful of um, some that may be changing their minds too much. This is um, maybe dealing with people who one minute say they're this and then next minute they behave this. So there is a little bit of erratic behavior. If you are in a relationship, um, this is a year of um, re collecting your um selves it is a time where you're going to have to put some kind of um different perspectives under review and try to find a happy medium okay so we are seeing that i do see that there is a lot of purging people who have not been good or not supportive in your relationship and it is time to move forward um there's a sense of being a little bit stubborn okay um, don't just go along to please the other because they, you need a balance in a relationship. If there is not enough, um, if you compromise too much in the long term, it's not going to work out. So you'll have issues on all relationships, all kinds. Um, again, is, you know, your opinion counts and so does someone else's. Just make sure that you don't cut your nose off to spite your face, meaning just because someone doesn't agree with you or they're not in the po same political field as you, anything, is you just kind of uh, give up on a person or that because then you you'll either will make enemies or you either will have regrets, okay? Because, you know, it's up to you. There's that tricky type of energy there, okay? So I do have to say that. It is a year that a lot of you may be going back to school because you want to um, learn something new, um, advance in your um, education. I do see that energy. A lot of wisdom and uh, soul searching is what I want to say is showing up here. Okay. Now you wish for your solar year. Let's see what you have. You have the magician. Wow. Beautiful. So the magician usually is a yes answer, right? Um, this is manifestation and very high manifestation. All right. The thing that I pick up here is two things. Yes. Um, you, your wish will come, uh, through, but it's going to come with removing some obstacles. See, you'll be able to manage it. It has, to, um, some obstacles will be needed to be removed. And what I pick up here is this is a very possible that this wish comes through with the help of others. Okay, you kind of need some others um, are involved and you can achieve a lot with talk and talk is important. Okay, and that will come to fruition that way. All right, the important numbers for your solar year are 8, 2, 19, 19. I pick up 19, okay? I wish you a very happy birthday and a wonderful solar year. Everybody else have a wonderful Monday and bye for now.